I'm walking around Mason where cleanup efforts have continued following last week's storm. However, there's still lots of debris and fallen trees and their limbs covering people's yard, which, I mean, there's another one right there, which got me thinking, how is all of this damage and debris affecting homeowners and their property values? Mason homeowner Jennifer Lounsbury planted a tree in her front yard 22 years ago. She hoped it would one day hoist a tire swing for her grandchildren. But after recent storms, all that remains is some sawdust and a stump. It's hard to lose a tree, you know. This was huge and it blocked my sound and view from the road. Um, so it's hard to lose it and to replant and I will. Um. I checked in with Vision Real Estate co-owner Amy Krizanga to learn more about the lingering impacts of the storm. I was walking downtown and one of my clients was walking and they bought a gorgeous house on Maple Street probably five years ago and they actually had a tree fall down um, and she said that they had water coming through their roof and their ceiling um, but it, it's you can't replicate that and so it's just so hard when you have the damage and the trees are down and the the, the city's really good about build, or planting a new tree but um, the historic value of that is just priceless. The century-old oak trees that are now covering residents yard are a deep rooted piece of Mason's residential history. Back in the day FHA did require like financing required one shade tree which is very interesting <laughs> um, and a very odd requirement but um, that's part of the history and people who really truly value the beauty of a tree are and just the the landscape of the home and how it um, increases the value is is strong. Not only did the loss of trees decrease property value according to Forbes the average cost for removal of fallen trees is $1,200 is the holiday weekend and all of our friends are going up north and we should have been with them but we got to pay for having our tree cut down and cleaned up and removed it's it was just too big of a job for us so it's it's a financial burden in mason i'm your neighborhood reporter hannah mcgory fox 47 news